talk to us about GE. Are you surprised by the, the magnitude of the decline that we saw last year? And do you think, yeah. given what you've seen from them, they can turn it around this year? Well, I love GE. You know, I spent over 30 years there, and I was really blessed and fortunate to work with Jack Welch, and who I consider a dear friend, a great mentor, and many of my management skills were honed while I was there. And, and uh, it was such a wonderful environment culturally where I like to say it was kind of collegiately competitive. We all were deeply competitive but never at the expense of one another. You know, if I needed some help, Jim McNerney would jump in or I'd help him. And so it was a wonderful, wonderful environment. And it is, uh, I've said before, it's heartbreaking to mm. see, what was it, about $350 billion of market cap kind of evaporate mm -hmm. over the last 16 years. So that's one point. Point two, you know, John Flannery has stepped in and God love him, he's got, a, uh, he's got a Herculean task, I think, to get the ship turned in, uh, in a more profitable direction. You talked about the increase today in the Dow, and, and uh, that's very encouraging. I think 2017 is kind of written off. He's been very open and uh, forthright in his meeting with the analyst about it was a big disappointment. I think uh, one of the things we want to look at at GE will be bookings. Uh, what's left in GE are long cycle businesses. I know very well from power systems, the transportation business, uh, aircraft engine, long bookings, long, long lead time. So we'll want to see the volume of bookings and we'll want to see delivery dates to see if we'll be able to generate the cash that John's going to need to meet, meet even half of what the dividends were, service the debt, 50% of uh, liability yet for the pension fund. So he's got to really generate a lot of cash quickly. He signed up for billions of dollars of discounts, uh, restructuring, et cetera. So he's got a full plate. He's, he's announced he's going to sell $20 billion of assets. Uh, that will be an interesting set of dynamics. You know, I think you lose a little leverage when you announce you have to sell. Yeah. And, and not that it's a fire sale. And there's some big tax, tax consequences because the books have been written down the value. Now, the tax bill, the new tax bill will be helpful, but we'll have to see all that. I think first quarter, second quarter, we'll start to really determine John's uh, implementation of his strategies laid out. Do you think we've seen the low in the share price? Mm, I don't know. Mm. So it sounds like he's got a long road ahead of him, and by telling everyone what he needs to do, he's managing expectations. How long will this process take? How long does it usually take, and how much uh, rope will yeah. shareholders give him? Well, it's interesting. I think John said we should measure this in years, right? Not that it would turn around in the first quarter, not in the second, maybe not even in 2018, Charles. I mean, you're, you're right. He has done a, a good job of managing expectations. The question is, uh, while the rest of the market is getting mm. significant growth. And, and again, if you look at the percent growth over a very bad year, we got to keep it relative, right? Sure. I mean, it's, it's a good indication, but you got to recover 40% before you start to get back competitive with the other Dow companies.